Hi everyone, my name is Tim Tribone. I'm a graduate student at Syracuse University and my advisor is Graham Lusky. I'm going to spend the next few minutes telling you a little bit about my research as well as my uh, upcoming champ talk. So my research is primarily in commutative algebra and representation theory. I'm most interested in problems in commutative algebra which are either motivated by or use tools from sort of classical non-commutative representation theory. An example of this line of thinking is the classification of simple hypersurface singularities by Book White, Scroll, and Shire and Snor in 1987. Specifically, the contributions made by Snor use some non commutative methods and the theory of matrix factorizations to determine uh, that the Cohen Macaulay representation type of a hypersurface ring is the same as the Cohen Macaulay representation type of its double branch cover in the case that either is finite. So, with Schnorr's theorem here as a primary motivator, I have studied what I like to call the default branch cover, where instead of f plus z squared, I'm considering the hypersurface defined by f plus z to higher powers. So here lies the connection with the main object which I study, which are default matrix factorizations. So a default matrix factorization is a is a tuple of matrices all square of the same size such that their product in this order given is uh, f times an identity matrix. As an example of uh, one of my results, Graham Muskie and I showed that the category of default matrix factorizations has finite representation type if and only if the same is true of the default branch cover of R. That is that the default branch cover has finite cohen macaulay type. So this is an extension of Knorr's theorem and it sheds light onto the role of the higher degree addition. It also opens up some interesting questions about like what happens if you try different additions, like for example, f plus x times y times z. So things in higher dimensions uh, bump you up higher dimensions and what happens there. So if we combine this result with uh, the classification of simple hypersurface singularities I mentioned before, you can say, for instance, if you have a polynomial of an algebraically closed field, of characteristic zero, which has only finally many indecomposable D fold matrix factorizations, and this is for D strictly bigger than two, then it must be of type AN for N equals one, two, three, four, four. So lastly, I just want to give you a quick preview of the talk I'm going to give at Champ, which you can either catch live on February 14th or on the Champ YouTube channel afterwards. So the focus of the talk will be going into more detail on the results that I alluded to above and other rela related results. But I'm also going to try and sneak in some facts about the structure of the category of matrix factorizations with D factors. So in some ways, this default matrix factorization idea is more complicated when D is bigger than 2 than the original <coughs> uh, definition given by Eisenblatt. But categorically, there are some strong properties that actually hold for all D greater than 2. So for instance, for any D bigger than two, bigger than or equal to two, this category is Frobenius, meaning it has an exact structure which has enough injectives, enough projectives, and the classes of injectives and projectives coincide. And so therefore, uh, for example, the stable category is canonically triangulated. And so this is true in the D equals two case, well known, and it's also true for higher D as well. Uh, Moreover, I give explicit formulas for syzygies and cosyzygies in this category that you can write down exactly what they look like. Uh, these two operations turn out to be isomorphic, and this turns uh, in, in turn tells you that, for example, these uh, default matrix factorizations have periodic projective resolutions with period at most two. All right, thank you all, and I hope to see everyone on the 14th.